Senator uh, Isa Jibril. Your Excellency, this. No. no. When uh, once uh, once a point of order is raised, the presiding officer must uh, listen to the point of order. Order what? My order is anchored on section 88 of the Constitution, 1999, as amended. Can I take the leave of the Mr. President to read out, sir? Thank you, Mr. President of the Senate. My name is Darlington Mwokocha. I speak for the entire Nigeria, but I Central in particular. Mr. President, I want to read section 88, 1, A and B, but I will anchor my position on B. Let me start from 1. Subject to the provision of this constitution, each house of the National Assembly shall have power by a resolution published in its journal or in the official gazette of the government of the Federation to direct or cause to be directed investigation into any matter or thing with respect to which it has power to make laws. B, the conduct of the affairs of any person, conduct of affairs of any person, authority, ministry, or government department charged, charged, or intended to be charged with the duty of or responsibility for executing or administering laws enacted by National Assembly and disbursing or administering monies appropriated to be appropriated by the National Assembly. Mr. President of the Senate, I'm aware that this National Assembly and this arm, the Senate, has three major mandates. One, lawmaking. Secondly, oversight. And thirdly, representation. And I know quite well that what we are doing today is a continuation of what we did yesterday. And I'm happy to have the nominee here present and he has said wonderful things and which of them he said that he used instrumentality of law which he is part and parcel of to advance the cause of justice and I know quite well as well that this house or this senate usually use the instrumentality of legislature to advance the cause of fairness <laughs> Mr. President of the senate I want to bring to the notice, because I've been a two-time House of Assembly member, two-time House of Rep member, and today a senator. And I was in the 8th Assembly of the House of Representatives, and the ninth Assembly, and today I am here. And I know that our rule book does not in any way exclude the continuation of free will drive of one section to the other. Having said that, Mr. Senior President, I want to bring to the notice of this House that sometime in 2020 that an issue came up. And that issue was the uh, public works program. We all welcomed it with open hands because this is something that will help our people. Today we are talking about paying 8,000 to some people to make sure that it will alleviate poverty. Then, it was the amount of 20,000 to 1,000 persons across the 774 local governments, which my local government is part of it. 
and I'm sure your local government is part of it. And today, 1,000 per each local government minimum, 20,000 naira, has a great multiplier effect that will make our people cushion so many effects that would have led our people into a very greater height. But what really happened? At a point, we wanted to carry out our responsibility because if some people can use the instrumentality of law, which they find themselves within their confines of their own authority, to advance for all their justices, why can't we use the instrumentality of the legislature to support our people and help the populace which we represent? Then, at that point, we invited the nominee because this thing has been a subject of controversy and public debate, which I don't know. We wanted to know and give him fair hearing. Please tell us because it's now within our own confines authority to know what happened to our constituents. Say, please come and tell us what really happened. What is the structure? What are the indices you are using to carry out this thing? Because our people will hold us responsible and accountable. And when he was invited, what we are talking about is a 52 billion naira appropriation and the right of appropriation resides on the legislature. That is our right. And I know quite well that the right of oversight resides on us because we have to hold you accountable for whatever thing we appropriate to you. It is our right. Yes. And when he was invited, he expressly told us to the public that we want to hijack his role. That we want to blackmail black us that we are corrupt. That we want to hijack his role. And I know that he midwife the process. Nobody's against that. He midwife the process. And this falls within his own area of operation as the uh, junior minister for uh, labor and employment. Highly welcomed. And not only that, he went as far as in the public line to say that when he was asked, how, which indices did you use to gain this? He said, in quote, they are not from the moon. That was too arrogant to answer Nigerians that way. Because we are talking about what we support and help our people. That is why we are here. Anything outside that, I'll walk away from this chamber. My interest, your interest, and the interest of everybody is our people. That is why we are here. Not whatever thing any person is saying. And today, we need to find out, Mr. Sine President. Nobody is stopping him from being cleared. No. And I'm happy the way the uh, president has sent so many people, great people here, we have questioned them, passed through the screening, wonderful people, and we're ready, as much as they are ready to work with the, uh, the, the, the system, we're ready to clear them. But not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing, since he has been running away from it, for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that, because this thing has been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the, but he is here. And it's our responsibility to find out. So, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened, but not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert at any point. You can even call for an emergency and we'll reconvert. Because we would not like what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. Yeah. We won't take it this time around. We want a situation we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit. And I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when this is left so that he can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians, I have perfectly done well because this record has been put straight. That is my submission, Mr. Senior President. I rest my case. Yes. Uh, uh, this colleagues. Uh, this is colleagues. The distinguished colleagues, the point of order raised by the point of order, the point of order raised by Senator Darlington Ugocha is noted.
But on the motion, there is no seconder. Ah, uh, uh, okay. But let's try now first. Senator, uh, as, uh, there, there's a motion on the ground. If you want, you can, you can second it and amend it, whatever. Uh, 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 so if there's no seconder, Leader of, the, leader, leader of the Senate, the point of order had been noted. Now he also proceeded to move a motion, which has not been seconded. So, okay, okay, Senator Abalibe, let me hear you. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to second the motion, very ably moved by Senator Darlington Walker, that in view of Section 88B, of the uh, 1B of the Constitution, which mandates the National Assembly to go ahead and look into the conduct of affairs of any person, authority, or ministry, and where such a person refuses and deliberately stays away from letting the National Assembly do its work. And in view of the fact that this nominee rejected the summons of both the House of Representatives and the Senate, that I do support that this nominee should be stepped down pending when he decides that the National Assembly has that right to inquire into the workings of a minister and his ministry. I so second. Uh, distinguished colleagues, the, the motion has been moved and seconded. Those who are in support of the motion that the screening of the nominee be stepped down on the further inquiries, say aye. aye. Those who are against, say nay. Distinguished uh, colleagues,
Uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, the distinguished colleagues, uh, speak from there, please. The distinguished colleagues, I will put the question again. Give him the chance to talk. Supposed to be fair, uh, given the chance. The 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 sewage colleagues. The the sewage colleagues. Point of order. Mr. President, point to our order. Mr. President, point to our order. Distinguished uh, colleagues, distinguished colleagues, this I will, I will put the question again. Other place, distinctions. Distinguished Senator, sit down, please. Please, distinguished senator, take your seats, please. Uh, distinguished colleagues, Distinguished colleagues, the distinguished colleagues, the the president of the Senate, sit down. The president of the Senate is on his feet. Order. 
refer to order 62 of our rules. And I'll read for those who may not have gone through. Whenever the President of the Senate or the Chairman rises during a debate, any Senator then speaking or offering to speak shall immediately sit down. And the Senate or the committee shall be silent so that the President of the Senate or the Chairman may be heard without any interruption. I am of the view that we are not the people that nominated the nominees that we have been screening from the president. A lot of indices must have been taken into consideration under a rowdy situation. We cannot arrive at anything. But I've noticed that from the, even here, some of you are prepared to stretch the rule to even asking for division. But we will not go that route. Lead out the Senate. Lead us right. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'm very, very distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I at this time move that we dissolve into an executive session to be able to uh, iron out some issues. Uh, but uh, before that, I guess my first motion should have been uh, based on order eight sub three of our rules uh, to move for an extension of time for this Senate to be able to sit beyond 2 p.m. Uh, this should have happened some 13 minutes ago, but for what was going on. Uh, so, sir, please take it that my first motion right now is a motion for extension of time based on order eight um, sub three of our rules to enable us clear the other attempts on the other paper. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to second the motion that will extend our sitting time to beyond two o'clock to enable us to continue today's proceeding. I saw second. And no, he will. He will. And uh, OK. Distinguished colleagues, the motion do late has been moved and seconded by the minority leader that this August assembly do extend its sitting time beyond 2 p.m. Those who are in support of that motion say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. Our sitting period is extended beyond 2 p.m. Minority leader. The Senate leader. Is this your confusion here? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues. Um, I move that uh, we resolve into um, an executive session to enable us uh, a closed session, closed session, uh, otherwise also known as executive session, to uh, help us uh, iron out some issues. Thank you. I rise to second the motion that we resolve into a closed session to discuss very important issue with regards to the screening. I so second, Mr. President. Distinguished colleagues, a motion has been moved and seconded that this Senate do resolve into a closed session to iron out some issues of national concern. Those who are in support of this closed session has moved to say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. The Senate will now uh, uh, revert to a closed session. <laughs>